I'm finally back. Welcome back to Total Lefty Disc Golf. And guys, I deeply apologize for being so non-existent the past three or four weeks. I've had so much on my plate. I've had my microphone stop working, so I had no way to have audio. I've had um, tripod malfunctions where I've broken one of my cameras. Um, I have had a research paper to write for my school. I'm finished up with clinical as of yesterday. It's just been a wild ride the last three or four weeks and I just have had zero time to go out and make videos and I've also had no way to even make videos. With that being said, I really want to start this video with an announcement. First thing, this shirt is a Disc Golf Threads shirt. They have sponsored me for the 2024 season as one of their ambassadors. Uh, you could go to their website, discgolfthreads.com, and at checkout, use the code 250825 for 10% off any purchase on anything on their website. Um, and then my next and final sponsor for the season is going to be Disc Golf Retailer, Tree Magnets, Disc Golf Supply. They are super cool people based out of Pennsylvania, smaller retail, but they have a great selection on the, on the website. You use code LEFTY, you get free shipping on any order of any amount of discs. And I get a little kickback on that. I think it's like 10% of whatever, whatever you buy. I get that back for me. So, and that helps me with my tournament funds for this season. And uh, the links will be down in the description uh, with the codes as well. Appreciate everything. Go buy some jerseys, go buy some discs. Um, secondly, for the next part of the video, we're doing a in the bag, being that I've wrapped up my off season and I'm starting tournaments here in about a month. I'm gonna really be practicing with this bag here. Everything in it is gonna be solidified for this season specifically. Um, yeah, with the development of my forehand, I have a larger variety of shots to use in my game and I'm excited to see what this season brings. Uh, without further ado, we're gonna start with the putters. I'm gonna be using the Prodigy PA3. Uh, I recently switched from the Lone Star Blue Bonnet. And as you guys probably know, I was on the Lone Star Ranger team starting in around May of last season, all the way up until November, December. Um, the Blue Bonnets were the only putter I really liked that fit in, fit in the hand well. Um, but now that I've been trying these, uh, PA threes. Uh, I got this Toronto Maple Leafs one for Christmas from my girlfriend, and I really like the hand fill, so I bought like three or four more. And yeah, I've just I switched over about two, three weeks ago. Really like the way it feels. I'm I'm a very predominantly spin putter, and I just like having that extra grip. It's not a lot shallow. It's not as deep as the Blue Bonnets, which are up here. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy putting with PA threes. Now going on to throwing putters, I have four of them. Starting with the Envies, my overstable option. Uh, this Proton Envy, throw it on hyzer, it's never gonna flip up, it'll, but it'll go straight on hyzer the whole way and then have a nice finish. Next Envy is the Eagle McMahon Tour Series Rebirth Envy. Uh, Prism Proton, I like the way it feels. I like the way it flies. Uh, the rim is a little bit less durable than the than the the just the regular proton rim and so like it's got a nice beat into it i got it as soon as they released and i have some nicks already in it so it's got a nice hyzer flip but it's still going to fade dependably just like this proton one but this is more for my, my straighter shots the next i have the proxy which i'm trying to beat into the same level as my other putter here which is the watt had this one for a long time. This one is a nice hyzer flip, slow turn, and just pan out, hit flat on the ground. Uh, this is a fission proxy. I'm trying to beat this one into the same point as this one, uh, but I'm not quite there yet. Whenever this gets to the same level as this watt, I'll probably take the watt out, even though I really, I really like it. Um, but yeah, that's the throwing putters that I have. Next is the approach discs. I really only have two. Both of them are zones. Z zone, forehand, backhand approach shots. The Z is more for the skip shots because of the type of plastic. It's more premium, a little more slick. And then I have the ESP flex zone here in this nice pretty blue color. Same thing, forehand, backhand, but this is more for if I want those long, 
those hyzering shots to hit and stick or have like a, a small skip, not as, not as big of a skip as the Z plastic here. Moving on to mid ranges, I have three. I'm starting with the most overstable. It's the Pyro, Prism Proton Pyro. Try to find a Prism, or sorry, Prism Neutron Pyro. I tried to find the Prism Proton Pyro and they were out of stock everywhere. But uh, being that I can throw forehands pretty well now, not, not very far, but I can still throw them fairly well. This Pyro has been a really good shot for those uh, 250 to 300 foot shots. Backhand and about 200 foot shot forehands. Um, nice and overstable. Next for the straight mid range is the Horizon MD1 here. I got the idea from this disc on Nate Turner's channel, so shout out to him. Saw him throwing it all over the place. It's a nice hyzer flip to flat, but it's never gonna burn over unless you throw it flat. And it's, then it's not even really gonna burn over. It's more gonna be like a slow turn if you throw it flat. And lastly is my detour, uh, which is the 55 negative 21, the James Conrad disc. This disc is amazing. It's beat in a little bit since the Gyro Palooza box released around Christmas time. And it's been in the bag pretty much instantly since I threw it the first time. Nice hyzer flip to turn disc. If I throw it flat, it's gonna roll. Um, very good woods disc. If I throw it on a lot of hyzer and crank on it, it's not gonna burn over all the way. Or I can throw it like half power on a, on a bit of hyzer and it's still gonna glide forever. So. That's it for the mid ranges. Now on to the fairways. I have five fairway drivers, starting with the most understable, which is the Z Sting. Very nice hyzer flip, long turning disc, long turn turnover for those 320, 330 foot shots. Um, for me, being I'm still an AM, I don't have that elite level power yet. So yeah, Zing is a nice turnover, or even a even a a roller disc if I throw it on enough on enough uh, flat to Anheuser. So next is the Crave. I have three of them. This R2 PDGA one I got when I first signed up. Uh, now it's gotten gotten to the point of beat in where it's a nice hyzer flip slow turn. Um, not as strong of a turn as the Sting here, so it's a nice nice difference here for this one. Um, and then next is the Neutron Crave, which is a hyzer flip to flat. Maybe a baby tiny bit of turn, but hardly ever. Um, and then this Proton Crave is the hyzer, that pushing hyzer, same as the Proton Envy. I can throw it on a bit of, on a, on a bit of hyzer. It's gonna flip just a tiny bit, but it's never gonna get to flat all the way. And it'll always finish dependably right. Not super hard though with like a skip or anything. And lastly is the Lone Star Disc Brazos, which has the Freddie Mesa stamp, 7502, nice and domey. The only thing I don't like about it is that the rim is kind of shallow, which makes it hard for forehands for me. Other than that, really enjoy this disc. Um, this is the only disc from Lone Star I still have in the bag, and I have three or four extras in my practice bag in my trunk. So that is it for the fairway drivers. Now moving on to control drivers, I have one, two backhand, two forehand, and a hybrid that I use for both. Uh, so starting with the backhands, I have the Infinite Disc Dynasty. Um, it's 95 negative one two. It's the old Discmania CD2 mold, which is the same as the CD1 I also have in here, which is the C-Line. This Dynasty is a swirly S-Line, so like it's a nice hyzer flip, drift a little, and then fade back. This C-Line is more of a hyzer flip, flat, and then fade. So these are very nice uh, longer di distance shots. I don't, I've learned that I don't really have the arm speed for pretty much 11 speeds or higher um, unless they're, they're kind of flippy. So those are my control drivers for the backhand. For the forehand, I have the Vulture. Two Vultures, an ESP Vulture with a nine tail stamp. Huge shout out to Bomb City Dies for hooking me up with this. Sick, sick stamp, love this. Um, and then I also have a Z Vulture. The only difference in these is the ESP is gonna be the same thing with the Zome. ESP is, is gonna be more like a hit and a small skip or a stick, and the Z Plastic is gonna be more of like a hit and skip shot. I'll throw these predominantly forehand, but I can backhand them if I need to. 
Um, backhand, they're more like a pushy hyzer. They're, they're not, they're not going to flip up at all. And lastly is the Fireball. Extremely flat, extremely torque resistance, mega overstable from Axiom Disc. Um, backhand shot. Throw, throw it flat, it's immediately fading out. Throw it on Anheuser, it's getting a nice flex line. Throw it on Heiser, it's, it's getting to the ground in a hurry. So that's the Fireball. Lastly are my distance drivers, which I really only use, throw these distance drivers forehand for if I'm trying to get like a nice long flex line for the forehand. Um, this prototype Zenith I got out of the Jarapalooza box and it is extremely flippy, even though it's not very flippy normally. Um, this is like my long distance, no OB, no trees, nothing, backhand, hyzer flip, turn, full, full flight disc here. Next we have two, two starships. The red one, uh, the red stamp here I have had since the starship was released by Sacred Disc. Um, so it's very old, very beat in, a lot more flippy than this, uh, than this uh, silver stamped one here, which is a lot less beat in. This one is like a nice hyzer flip, drift, and land flat. This is a hyzer, hyzer flip to drift, and then it's gonna fade back a little bit. Um, next is the Neo DD3 Rage Stone, Thunderstone, not Rage Stone, I don't know what I'm thinking. The Thunderstone, which is part of the Discmania Black mystery box, I believe. But yeah, can throw this on backhand. Don't really throw it a whole lot on backhand though. Mostly forehand, flat with drift to come back or hyzer flip to flat and it's not really gonna drift at all. Um, I can throw it about 280, 290 feet or so. I think I've maxed out 315 with this disc before, um, which super awesome for me. Very glad that my forehand's actually getting some distance. Lastly, also part of the black mystery box for Discmania is the Swirly S-Line PD-2. Love, love, love this disc. Mega beefy, not ever gonna turn over. I throw it on chopped forehands and it's fighting out every single time. Um, really, really love this disc. Uh, that's it for the discs. For the rest of the bag, I have a PDGA Mini, a Throw Joe's chalk bag for my forehands because I have very, very sweaty hands. A uh, Bushnell rangefinder over here. Nice for uh, those par fours and fives. I have a TheraBand for warming up. Don't ever want to go to the course cold because that's how you uh, get an injury. Here in the pocket is another mini. Nothing special. And then just tripods down in the bottom of this pocket. Um, I am gonna be rocking the Squatch Link bag. Super, super fond of the open concept. I, really, I like having easy access to all of my discs whenever I want. And then these side pockets are super big. It's, they, come in, they come in handy whenever I need to throw some extra discs in the side. Um, and then on this side, I have a towel from Tree Magnets. And then another, and a flight towel here with the um, what do you call it? The disc fob thing for like warm up shots. In this side pocket, I just have more towels and that's where I keep my keys and stuff. But yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for in the bag. I appreciate you guys for watching. It means a lot to me. I'm super glad to be finally getting back into making videos. It's been a long hiatus and I'm very excited to get back into doing this. So appreciate you guys for watching the video. Um, there are some fun things coming up, including a new series I'm going to be starting, similar to another series that you see on a very, very popular YouTube channel that is for disc golf. But stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.